So as you can imagine, this is a really big effort here. We won't really see construction starting until sometime next year, but there's a lot of behind the scenes and engineering work going on right now. So the plan is to get city power behind me here, right in front of you from Pier 48, and then to build an underwater cable all the way to here, Terminal 1 here at Coleman Dock. Now, take a look at your screen. This is a first look at what those charging stations are going to look like. Each vessel will have a robotic arm that comes out and connects to the charge. I'm told it will take about 20 minutes while people are loading on and off. Now, Matt Von Ruden with WashDOT says they looked at multiple ways to upgrade their system and chose electrification because it's already been successfully demonstrated in other countries. He's hoping new ferries into the fleet, which is now running at 21 vessels, will help the aging system. Well, I think we're at the right point in that as far as the technology curve, you know, there are, we're not the first doing this. Um, it's demonstrated. So taxpayers shouldn't need to worry about whether this is a risky technology. You know, there's over 70 vessels operating in, uh, around the world. Now, the electrification program, which includes the new ferries as well as converting six existing fer uh, vessels, will reduce emissions from Washington State ferries by over half. Now, the important thing to note is that we're in Seattle, Coleman Dock right now. It's a little bit easier to get to electricity. The focus now is on getting electricity to some of the docks in more remote parts of western Washington. For now, reporting live in Seattle, Angelique Hockaday, King 5 News.